back to the Hope Lab. It is good to see your good selves. I am Phil, this is MySpace, and wherever I'm doing MySpace is where MySpace is for science, uh, because it doesn't matter where you are. You can do science anywhere. And today, I wanted to bring you a joyous experiment, one that means a lot to me, because it reminds me of my childhood. Yes, I was once a child, too. Uh, and when I was a child, I spent a lot of my time in the sink sitting there, like either getting washed as a baby or as I grow up, actually having and playing and pouring and putting cups on top of stuff or just having to figure out. And a lot of my love of science comes from those little play moments and play is a fantastic way to figure things out. And also, it's a great way to find the fun in something really simple, like a sheet of paper. Yes, all of today's experiments can be done with a sheet of paper and a sink. What we are going to do today is we are going to make a boat from a sheet of paper, we are going to do some origami, which is folding of paper, to make a boat, and then we're gonna do a little experiment, a little, actually, quite snazzy little thing in this test tank right beside me here. Now, we've done bits before where we talked about why things float, and a lot of it has to do with Archimedes' principle, which is the amount of push-up thrust that you feel from the amount of water you displace, which is the amount of water that you push out of the way. That's why boats are often shaped like this, so that they push away more water than they weigh, because, Boats relative to the size of them are actually quite, they're, they weigh, they're not, they're quite light for the size of them, but there's a lot of space inside them so that they can push water away so they can feel that up thrust of water coming so that they float. So that's why they're often shaped like this. So density, the amount, they're not as dense. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna fold this first in half along the long side. The folds for me are gonna have to be perfect. So this might take a little bit of time, so bear with me. So yes, we're gonna fold like that and then you take one of the sides and you fold it up again in half along the side. So you're getting this fold here. So you're doing that on one side again. Doesn't matter if it's not perfect, it is fine. You're doing your best, but what you're doing is you're doing the same on both sides, you're folding. And actually folds offer a lot of strength and structure into actually things that you create. So by actually putting folds in it, it creates like a ridge of strength. If something like a sheet of paper, it's quite floppy, but if you fold it, it stays up more so along this line. So the more folds you put in stuff, it adds strength. So I'm gonna fold this out here, and once you've done that in that, you're gonna fold up the corners on each end. So I put one there, like that, at a right angle here, so you know where you're going. Your limit is you're folding it up on the corner, up until this point here. So you'll end up with two flaps on one side like that, then you turn it over, and you do the same on the other side. You match it up. So you're doing the same on one side as you do to the other side. So you get it there like that, give it a press down. What could you do with this? You could color it in. You could have different shapes. You could color in the sheet first and then see what shapes appear or what it turns out like with, or you could then make the boat and then do it afterwards. So you've ended up starting to look a little bit like a boat shape. Uh, then you fold again along that line, bring in another kind of fold, a triangle again, shapes are important for strength. So we've got a fold line along here. We do the middle bit and we fold that up to the middle. So we're folding that up to the middle here like that. And we turn this over this way and we fold that up to like that. So that is our folding done. So you come up with kind of a narrow piece of paper like this and then you open up the middle bit which looks quite, quite boat-like shape, but you turn it up inside out, get this to shape the way you want, you fold it along here, you flatten out the bits, and here we go, little boat. Now, it's a little bit complicated, but don't worry, there'll be instructions in a little video online, just go to rte.ie forward slash learn, that's where we live in our hub lab, but let's see if our boat will float. So, what we are going to do, and this is the snazzy little bit of experiment that I wanted to show you, it's not just the floating, is that when I put this in here, and it floats, I know, I have a container, and this might be like a lunchbox, or it could be a jar, or it can be anything else, but as the boat flows along, it's just something that's bigger than what the size of the boat. And what I want you to do is, I am going to be able to make this boat float underwater <clears throat> without getting soaking wet all over it. I know, you ready? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this over here. It's gonna trap all the air inside it. And with the air trapped inside, when I push this down underwater, if you look inside, even though everything is underwater, the boat down here is floating on its own little bit of water. 
So this is exactly how diving bells work. If you've never heard of a diving bell, it's a contraption that traps air and it brings divers down or people to work underwater in a space or pocket of air. <laughs> There's one on the quays of Dublin. You can see it, there's a big orange yoke. Uh, it's an ancient how they were building the walls. But if I lift this back up and you can kind of see it now, the, it'll float, it's still floating, it's still floating, it's still floating. And it's, it's not wet, it's not wet, it's not wet. There you go. Look at that. The idea with all of this is with simple ideas and play, you can start to explore, have a go at things, things what you could create. Engineers Week is coming up at the end of February. It's the perfect time. Why not have a go at this? Design some stuff and send us in your ideas. Go to rte.ie forward slash learn or even we have our very own free post box. Send us in your stuff. We would love to see your ideas. So would the world. Have a bit of crack. It's not about just dreaming big, it's about doing big. And all of the big ideas start small. Have a go, and I'll see you next time. Bye.